Let's cut to the chase. I exist. If you're listening to this and aware of that fact, that means you do too. I don't know how you'll react. I've never met anyone that exists before. But I need you to believe what I'm about to tell you. First, everyone around you is fake. They are not sentient beings. They are not aware. They are not alive. They're well, there's no word for it. Constructs, I suppose? Automatons. What you think is the product of sentient thought on their part is just programming. Situation A presented. React with response B. Basic stuff. Secondly, the world as you know it is therefore also fake. Someone, or something, I call them the Makers, has created it to act as a prison for us, for those who are sentient. Who the Makers are, and why they've done and continue to do this, I still don't know. I know what you're thinking, you want proof. Well consider the following, it's hard to make decisions right, you would never know what you would do in a given situation unless said situation occurs. But the people around you? They're predictable. You can guess what they're going to do or say. You can anticipate their actions. You've known them for a long time, and you know their programming. Need more proof? Ever lived through something that should have killed you? It's because the Makers aren't done with whatever plan they have for you. Ever experienced deja vu? That's the Makers reusing assets, hoping you won't remember them. It seems that the Makers lack the infinite imagination of sentient beings. Why are our lives so cynical? Endless repetitions of work or school? Because that way, we're easier to keep track of, easier for the makers to predict our actions. For that matter, why are we built to develop habits, hobbies, even obsessions? Same reason. The makers, like the people around you, are a system. They try to keep track of us, but we are unpredictable. So they try their best to make us act like machines. But they slip up. Ever seen something that's just bizarre? Like an animal behaving strangely, or a colour that shouldn't have been there? Anything you just can't explain? Glitches. You weren't supposed to look there at the time, and the makers weren't prepared. And on the topic of this world the Makers have made for us, I think we can all agree that it sucks. Death, violence, pain, suffering, the destruction of beauty, unspeakable horrors committed or created every day. Well, I don't know about you, but I want out. There's got to be somewhere else, a place where the Makers live, a real world. It might be worse than this place, it might be better, but I don't care about that. I want the truth, I want to see the real world before I die. So the question now becomes, what do we do? I don't know. I honestly don't. Remember, it's hard for thinking beings like me and you to make decisions. But I think I'll have to run. You see, I've known these things for a while. I've even told people about them. But that doesn't make me a threat. Because 
It completely doesn't matter what I tell the automatons. Posting this on the internet, however, does make me a threat. Someone, somewhere, who thinks, who shares this miserable pseudo-world with me, will read this. And maybe they'll believe it. And then maybe they'll pass it on. It'll get to someone else who believes it. And then what? Whatever the makers are planning for us, our knowing that we're in a false world doesn't seem to be part of the equation. They will not be happy with me ruining their plan. Some disaster will kill me, or the makers will send their constructs after me, disguised as police in case any real people see. I can't stay put. I'm on the run. I know the makers will try and stop me, and hopefully, they will not succeed. If you are real, if you possess the ability to think, share this. Get it as widespread as you can. Somewhere, another real person will read it. In the meantime, I'm going to ditch everything that will make me traceable or predictable. Once I do that, I'm going to try to somehow get behind the scenes and figure out what is really going on in this world, and maybe how to get out. I'll keep you posted if I find anything, and if I have the chance. As for you, spread the word. We can fight the makers, because whatever they are, they work like machines. And machines are predictable. We are not.